Hello friends, this video on diversity in living world part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. What characterizes life? How do we know that an object is living or it is non-living? There are certain things which characterizes life or which are present in living things and which are not seen in non-living things. Some of them are all living organisms grow. So growth is one thing, reproduction, metabolism, cellular organization of the body and consciousness. So these are some of the things which characterizes life. Now I will discuss about each of them in detail one by one. Now before that, uh, I'm sure that before you are going through this video, you would have gone through your bio videos of class 9th and 10th. If you have, then things will be easier for you to understand. If you haven't, you can just refer to those videos for a quick reference or for the basic knowledge. Right? Because here I'll be talking about many things which I have already discussed in detail in your previous lessons. Right? Okay. So anyways, let us have a look at these characteristics of life. So the first thing is all living organisms grow. So when I say grow, what do I mean by growth? So what comes to your mind when I say growth? This comes to your mind, right? You feel that some, a couple of years back, you were a small kid and you gradually grew to become an adult, right? So what is growth for you? It is increase in your height, increase in your, in your weight, all your body parts get enlarged. So that is growth. Right? That is how you see growth or that is how you visualize growth as soon as you hear the word growth. But what actually happens inside our body that the appearance changes so much or how the size actually increases. Now we all know that our body is made up of what is the basic building block of our body? Cells. Right? So whenever I talk about growth, it is either that the number of cells are increasing by the process of cell division or the cells are getting enlarged. So either of the two things are happening because of which growth is actually taking place. So whether we talk about growth in an animal like human beings or we talk about growth in a plant. So everywhere the same logic applies. Either the number of cells are increasing or the cells are getting enlarged. Now where does this cell division happen? Does it happen everywhere inside the body? Does all the cells start increasing in size or they start dividing? Well, cell division occurs in certain tissues. It doesn't happen everywhere. So now, don't ask me to explain the entire detail of a cell or the entire detail of a tissue because you have already studied about this in class 9th. Right? Okay. So now, if you look at the way growth actually happens, it is very proportional and it is very limited to certain parts of the body, right? If you look at your arms, what do you see? The fingers, they grow. Even the fingers grow. I mean, the size of your finger when you were one year old and the size of your finger now is different, right? But did it grow haphazardly? No, right? So it it has grown in, in the specific pattern and it has a limited growth. I mean, it, it does not keep on growing till, till you are 60 years old, right? So it grows up to a limit. So similarly, everything, your features, your eyes, your nose, your lips, everything will grow proportionally and growth doesn't just happen everywhere. I mean, you do not see that fingers start growing on your face. That doesn't happen, right? So things happen only at certain places. So growth is proportional and growth is limited. I mean, it happens within limits. But we can't say that growth defines life. We can't say that anything that grows is living. No, that is not going to be a correct statement. Why? Let me give you an example. Let us suppose if you have sand dunes, if any of you have ever been to a desert, you can visualize visualize it more easily. You would have seen sand dunes, that is heap of sand which forms small mountain-like structures. Now what happens if more and more sand is swept to that 
sand dune, maybe by wind or some other sources, what happens? The sand, the size of the sand dune grows, right? So it, it becomes taller and taller. So what is happening to the sand dune? The sand dune is actually growing. Correct? So growth is taking place. How is the growth happening here? By accumulation of more and more sand. Similarly, you might see a mountain has grown. Maybe earlier the mountain was small. By accumulation of more and more rock, sand and other particles, it started growing. So do you think the sand dune is a living organism? No. Right? So what does it mean? So why is growth in this case is not considered living, but growth in this case is considered living? Why is this difference? That's because when you look at the sand dunes, how did the growth happen? The growth happened externally. Externally, more and more materials got collected and because of which it increased in size. But if you look at a living organism, whether you look at that a human being or you look at a plant, growth happens internally. You do not add leaves from outside or you do not take leaves from outside and add it or paste it to the plant externally. That is not how growth takes place, right? Or you would have seen your hair growing, right? You do not bring somebody, cut somebody else's hair and paste it on your hair and your hair doesn't grow like that, right? So this growth has to take place internally. So growth is from inside and leaving organisms. So when I talk about growth, which is a characteristic of leaving organism, I need to specify which kind of growth am I talking about. Because if I just say growth, whichever organism has growth, it is a leaving organism. That is absolutely not right. So when we talk about growth, which characterizes life, we mean internal growth, which happens internally and which happens on its own. So that is why you don't see a dead plant growing. A dead plant doesn't grow. Dead animals don't grow. Leaving, even leaving animals, they also do not grow endlessly. They also grow only up to a certain age. As I said, even we grow up to a certain age. After that, we don't grow, right? So things happen within limits. So growth is a characteristic of leaving organism, definitely. But it happens under different situations in different ways. So we cannot say that anything that grows is living. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.